I want to talk briefly about how I came up with the lighting range in my garage. Because my garage is kind of oddly shaped and it has, you know, overhead shelving and things like that and that beam that runs across the ceiling, um, it, made it, it made it a challenge to come up with a lighting arrangement that would give me nice uniform uh, light distribution. And so what I used was this software called Dialux Evo. It's a, a free to download program. It's like a 3D modeling program, but for lighting arrangements. Um, you can go to their website and download it. It's free to use and it's very powerful. Um, if I were to, to have just gone into my garage lighting project and just hung them as best I could, I think my results would be a lot worse. I, I, think, uh, I think this really helped me get to my optimal uh, arrangement. So anyway, uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, let me pull up my most recent one. This is what I actually went with, this Garage Rev 2. As you can see, I tried a bunch of different arrangements. You basically, uh, you know, draw it in CAD, um, and then it models it in 3D for you. So this is sort of a heat map of the lighting in my garage right now. This off, there we go. <clears throat> so as you can see, I included some of the major elements um, and I wanted to include these because it's going to reflect and, and cause different uh, cause the light to hit these surfaces a little bit differently. So here you can see my shelves that I have. They're obviously not an accurate representation, but I just need something there to fill that mass or to, to model that mass. I've got my workbench and here's my toolbox. Uh, you know, they only give you a filing cabinet. The most major things are this beam that runs across the, the surface or the ceiling of my garage, and then these two overhead shelves. I also included the attic cover here so that I could get the spacing of this light correct. Uh, but this is what it does. It's very powerful. You basically upload the photometric data here. Um, if you are using a light fixture from most major manufacturers, they'll let you download these IES files. Um, my particular lights were from Lithonia and you can go to their website and you just download these files and basically it models how the light exits your fixture. You know, the, the shape, the intensity at various distances and you can upload it into this program, this Dialux program, and it will model how the light, um, how the light falls in your, in your uh, workspace. So this is what it looks like. This is the finished product. Uh, and this is the final arrangement that gave me the most uniform um, lighting throughout my garage. Here you can see this is the uh, work plane. So you can see here, this is my work plane. It's about 31 and a half inches. And these different numbers here are the amount of foot candles of lighting at this surface. So if I were to hide that, it would go back to the floor. And uh, essentially what my design space was, I wanted uh, at 31 and a half inches of height, I wanted the most uniform light distribution at about 90 foot candles. That was what I designed for. And this final lighting arrangement you can see here does a pretty good job of maintaining very uniform light throughout most of my garage here. Now I have some prior uh, 3D modeling experience, but really, the UI varies from program to program anyway, and you just have to kind of play with it a little bit. It's not very hard, so highly recommend this if you're doing uh, any kind of arrangements that are going to be uh, complex. I'll show you a few other tests that I did. So the original garage looks kind of like this. This is kind of the bare bones model that I started with. Uh, just the major elements, the beam and the overhead shelves. There, as you can see, there's no door. Um, there's not much of anything in this yet. And this is pretty easy to draw. Um, and then I tried m a few different arrangements. Let's see here. So we'll try six vertical lights first. This is, you know, this kind of arrangement where there, there's three columns of uh, vertical lights here. So it's like a three by two arrangement here. I also tried, uh, I also tried them horizontally.
you know, in this manner. Um, this gives me a very heavy light distribution here in the center, and it kind of falls off towards the edges. Um, also, it doesn't really work with the geometry of my garage. I'll show you a few other ones. I also tried them with different amounts of lights. So I tried, um, I tried nine and I tried six. Um, I also tried with the LEDs. Now the problem with the LEDs are, uh, this is kind of my final arrangement, but with LEDs instead of fluorescence. And uh, the problem with it is they're just not as bright. That's the main reason I didn't use LEDs in this. Uh, this is what the works, the work, uh, the work plane lighting looks like with LEDs, with comparable LEDs to the fluorescence that I used. Um, so if I go back to my normal arrangement here, this I think this Rev Two was my final one. We're getting somewhere about sixty-eight. Um, But uh, that's including all this other stuff over here. So if I exclude this, uh, it's much closer to, to 90 where I want it at. Now what's nice about this software is it's very easy to modify your design and tweak it slightly. So if I come in here and I choose these lights here, for instance, let's say I want to move this light a little bit further down. I can do that very easily. So I can just move the lights around as I want. Let's say I want to move this one over here and then I'll just recalculate it here. And it'll change my entire lighting distribution on my work plane here. And across my garage here. And you can see how quickly and easily I was able to do that. So that's why I use this software. It takes a little bit to get it set up and ready to use, but once you have it there, it's very easy to make adjustments. You can also rotate it any way you want. Let's say I want it, this one horizontally instead of vertically. There we go. You can also do different patterns. So if I choose these two um, and I change the pattern like this, if I wanted a three by one configuration for these or a, you know, a more dense three by one, if I want to arrange closer to the, to the wall, it'll let you do this very easily. Or maybe if I wanted a three by two arrangement, I can do it like that. Um, but basically this program makes it very easy to, to try different light configurations and pick what's best for you. Uh, here's, I think, my final ones. I think I tried a thinner light here as well, uh, and I modified the distance here a little bit, but this is my final configuration. And as you can see, we're very close to 90 all across the majority of my garage. Uh, I include another light here, and I'll show you that in, in uh, a little bit later in the video. But that'll, that'll close this, uh, that'll improve the light distribution across my workbench a little bit better. So yeah. Highly recommend the software, and if you're doing any kind of uh, um, complex lighting arrangement, I highly recommend using this software because it's it made this very easy to do. So, yeah.